The shuttle's Canadian-built robot arm, which has demonstrated time and again its ability to deploy and retrieve large satellites, will be used to maneuver large pieces of the station. For the big tasks, you get the robot to do it, just like a construction site on Earth. You get the crane to lift the heavy piece, you put it in place, and then once it's in place, someone comes in and does up the bolts and plugs it in, and, and if something's not working right, they can get in there by hand and fix it. Eventually, the space station will receive its own robot arm, also built by Canada. Representing the next generation in robotics, it will have more capabilities specifically designed for station assembly and maintenance. It's got more joints, it's more articulating. In other words, it has the ability to uh, bend in more places than the, the shoulder, elbow, and wrist that the, the shuttle arm has. The new arm will even have the ability to attach itself on one end and disconnect on the other end, effectively inchworming across the station. A new robotic Canada hand can be attached to the end of the arm for work on intricate tasks that were impossible for past robotics. As robotic arms and hands assist during station assembly and maintenance, robotic eyes will give astronauts a new visual advantage. A small free-flying basketball-sized robot called AirCam will be used to conduct up-close site surveys of the station and assist in EVAs by broadcasting video back to station crews or ground controllers. The little robot's views may cut down the amount of time humans have to spend conducting spacewalks. Another set of eyes called the Space Vision System will provide far more than just pictures. Tested on several shuttle missions, the system uses targets, the shuttle's payload bay cameras, and a series of computers to create an artificial image of a module, providing precision information to the robot arm operator where it should be moved. The International Space Station will be covered with close to 250 Space Vision System targets to help astronauts with assembly. Just as astronauts rehearse on the Earth for spacewalking, robotic assembly operations must also be practiced. At the Johnson Space Center, astronauts use giant inflatable balloons to stand in for station modules, giving them a chance to practice robot arm operations. In addition, a domed simulator uses computer animation to allow astronauts to rehearse the assembly missions with realistic visuals. Training in the simulators and the real space experience gained from past shuttle flights are all coming together, preparing astronauts in the best ways possible for the assembly work that lies ahead.